The magma reservoir in National Park comes into sharper focus. The new results do not show new magma accumulation, nor do they signal that magma is moving, write guest columnists Ross McGuire and Brandon Schmant. A new seismic tomography model using a cutting-edge imaging approach that leverages supercomputers gives scientists a cutting-edge view of the National Park's magma reservoir system Yellowstone. Seismic tomography, like CT scans in medical imaging, allows us to make geological inferences from 3D variations in seismic wave velocity in the subsurface. This technique is commonly applied to investigate magmatic systems because low wave velocity anomalies can indicate areas of partial melting of the crust and mantle. But how much magma is there beneath the surface? Is it concentrated in melt-rich structures such as sills, table-shaped horizontal bodies of magma, or widely distributed in a crystal slurry? What are the implications for the life cycle of an erupting volcano? In Yellowstone National Park, many studies have attempted to answer these questions using high-resolution subsurface images developed using seismic tomography. Although there are differences between studies, regions of low wave velocity at depth. The middle to upper crust, 3-9 miles, is thought to represent Yellowstone's silicate magma reservoir. Typically, this anomaly is associated with a reduction in seismic wave velocity of less than 10% compared to the surrounding crust indicating that the magma reservoir consists of about 10% melt. So far, most tomographic studies of Yellowstone have been based on minimizing the difference between observed and predicted seismic wave travel times using theoretical approaches. In this approach, it is assumed that the travel time of a seismic wave is only sensitive to the wave speed along an infinitely narrow path connecting the source and receiver. However, in reality, seismic waves have a limited wavelength and are sensitive to wave speed in the volume around their path, compared to a narrow region. Additionally, this method is not very accurate. takes into account the effects of subtle bending of seismic waves caused by low-wave velocity objects such as magma reservoirs. These characteristics can mask the seismic signature of a magma reservoir, making it difficult to image accurately with this form of seismic tomography. For decades, seismologists have turned their attention to using more accurate physics of wave propagation in tomography, although this is challenging because it usually requires computationally intensive numerical methods to accurately measure wave propagation. Simulating 3D wave propagation in a complex Earth model one method to overcome this challenge is to accurately simulate synthetic seismograms, which allows the development of tomographic models capable of matching any wobbles in the observed seismic waveform. In other words, it can make further use of the wealth of information contained in seismic waves. Therefore, this technique is often referred to as full waveform tomography, although in practice this model still usually relies on fitting a particular type of seismic wave. Only with relatively recent advances in supercomputers has full wave tomography been applied on a regional or global scale, but applications of full wave tomography for imaging volcanic systems are still few.